And here we are, another edition of Steve Beverly's TV Classics, and this is a very special time. We're out here in Los Angeles for the National Broadcasting Society Convention, and the honoree this year for the Lifetime Achievement Award that is presented by NBS every year is a gentleman who's been with us before, a few years back, and that is Tom Kennedy, game show legend, broadcasting legend. You can count it more than 30 years on network and syndicated television. My friend, first congratulations. Well, thank you. Has it been that long? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I could go into details here. I know you could. Thanks a lot for dumbing up. <laughs> Good to be with you, Steve. Good to be with you, too. Uh, first, first off, what does it mean to be recognized for a body of work that just you kept continuing to do shows that people migrated to because you were good at what you did. Well, I don't know how good I was. All I can tell you is that the the source of satisfaction, the level of satisfaction is beyond words. I never dreamt I would ever be facing a, an organization such as your uh, audience here and the uh, NBS Society and being honored with, with that lifetime award. It means a great deal to me and my family who stuck by me for all those years and without them it would never would have happened. And I also am deeply indebted to you, Mr. Beverly, for the great video presentation you put together. These people that are watching right now may not have seen it before, but you make anybody look good. I, that, I really enjoy, I'm very, uh, indebted to you thank you well my pleasure on that part we go back through all your career and there are three shows that really stick out but you really told me at one point in time one of your favorite of all time was being dr iq back in 1958 yeah thank goodness there are people like you who remember things like that you're not only current you're a great historian that show of course, it came out of radio back in the 40s, but I did it in 1957 or 8, something like that. And I just absolutely loved it because it was a great, it, the first show that I had done on television, other than some local things in Los Angeles, where there was direct contact with the audience. It later came into play with uh, Name That Tune and, and others. But Dr. IQ was a doctor so-called doctor. You were never even mentioned by name on that show. You no. were just Dr. IQ. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, which is exactly the way it should have been. And But it was all between the doctor and the people in the audience. You ask commonplace, everyday questions and answers. Some of them were funny and some of them weren't. Some of them were really uh, educational. But it was a direct contact and it was it was really a great show. I was sorry to see it go back then. And I still think somebody ought to put it on the air today. Yeah, I, I call him up sometimes, and I'll say, I don't say hello. I just say, I have a lady doctor. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, you don't say is the one that really skyrocketed back in 1963. Split second, one of the fastest moving question and answer shows ever in 1972. But the one that put the exclamation point on it, because for years people would come up to you on the street, hey, Tom, I can name that tune. In three notes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, I can walk, I can go across that street in four, four paces, you know, whatever. I can eat that donut in three gulps. <laughs> it was a... Uh, it was a getting personal here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it, was, it became a trademark for the show, and a darn good one, and it still works to this day. You hear it all the time. It was a wonderful show, produced by a person that I had always dreamt of even getting to know, and that was Ralph Edwards, he uh, ex executive producer on that, on my version of the show. That show had many incarnations, if that's the word. Bill Cullen used to do it, George DeWitt, and other people. And uh, once again, it was direct contact with those contestants with a beautiful orchestra behind us. It was dynamic, and music has always been part of my life. Although, to be honest with you, I would not have been able to earn car fare home on that show had I been a contestant. <laughs> but, you know, but I had the handy little cue cards there. Mm -hmm. I loved it. I loved it then. I love it now. And uh, it's nothing but an honor for people to come up and say, I can name that guy in two notes. Tom Kennedy. <laughs> I, I, I even I even do that with my choir sometimes back home. I, 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 yeah, yeah they, they'll start up on it and I'll say I can name that in four notes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, 
Oh, it's great fun. Well, I want to again say congratulations for everybody affiliated with the National Broadcasting Society and also for all of us in Jackson that you have brought so much just really good times over the years and that for a half hour the kinds of shows you did made us forget all about our problems and that's a good thing. Tom, congratulations again. Thank you, sir. I, I appreciate it very much. Thank you very much. Tom Kennedy here with us on Steve Beverly's TV Classics, and let's go now to another of those great old classics.